joining me again today for another Sketch to Scrap Saturday video. So for today I've got this sketch for you which has a three and a half times five and a half inches photo. It's just one photo as you can see there it's on the kind of mid left there and um, this is a an eight and a half times eleven page. I normally do twelve by twelve. Decided to try something different and go with eight and a half times eleven and the title is just underneath it and it contains a bunch of pattern paper and also just a bit of embellishments on the top there. So let's get started. Now I am going to be using the hip um, scrapbook kit from the hip kit club and the the two uh, the two that I'm going to be using are the one from August 2016 as well as July 2016. Uh, the first thing I'm doing here is so I cut up the the uh, the photo so from four by six to just a little bit smaller so it's three and a half times five and a half to be honest I didn't really measure it so anything slightly smaller would be fine there and I picked out a, a bunch of pen paper and the three of them I'm using here are from the DLC Saturday line so the that one the blue one as you can see here and also the one which has a bunch of pluses and some um, what I'm cutting up now are both from DLC's Saturday line and this gray one is actually from crepe paper so I'm absolutely love this the these pan paper which is from the August 2016 scrapbook kit from the hip kit club the paper as well as embellishments that um, came in the kit are absolutely beautiful they're really they're so new they just came out of CHA and you know especially because I'm in Australia we don't get access to new stuff that much to be honest and if we do it's quite expensive so I'm absolutely so happy that the Hipkit Club kind of put in all these new stuff in their kit so while I was talking there, I just cut up some glass and paper, sorry, glass and bag, and I decided to cut up the kind of the edges just so that I, I have like essentially two layers. And I also the I also cut up some pattern paper, which is from the Fancy Free Collection. I got this 12 by 12 paper pad from, so I got this from Spotlight, and it's a, the Pink Paisley Fancy Free Collection and designed by Paige Evans. Uh, it's relatively old though, I think she already came out with a new line, I think it's Take Me Away or something like that. Uh, but because, as I said before, I live in Australia, we don't get access to new stuff that quickly. <laughs> and so, yeah, so I just got these from Spotlight just last week or something, so I'm really, really so happy that Spotlight um, has brought it down to Australia. So I am just cutting up to size and then now I'm just sticking down the the glass and bag as you can see here. But if you have vellum, vellum would be fine there too. I just want a little bit of, what do you call it, a bit of thickness, a bit of volume onto the page um, rather than just having just pattern paper. I think I want to add something a little bit more kind of give it a bit more dynamic onto the page. And I'm also cutting up this pen paper, which is from Cray Paper. And what I'm kind of going for is something quite muted, like the colours are a little bit kind of light. And yeah. And I decided to use some kind of name cards or business cards of the restaurants and the cafes that we went to. So this page is essentially talking about, you know, weekend brunch, having a coffee and just, you know, how much I enjoy doing that on the weekend. And so I have been, I have a bunch of name not name cards business cards that I've got over the years and well, over the weeks and so I essentially just spray on the acid free spray from Krylon onto those name cards there so I'm just I'm just thinking about which one I want to use and I decided to go with that navy one and just on the edge and just I stuck it down and cutting off the excess and I was just thinking what kind of title I want to add. So I decided to go with this, these chipboard 
stickers which are so these were two plus stickers which are from Bella Boulevard and the it actually came in the July scrapbook kit from the Hip Kit Club so I'm just peeling it out and seeing kind of how I want to stick that down and so I'm just thinking I feel like it's just missing a little bit of something and I am gonna embellish it but I feel like it's still missing a little bit of something so instead of just calling it together I think I'm gonna add another word just on top of it and I also picked out that kind of circle chipboard there which has a star um, to put on top of the photo and also these arrows from the um, from that chipboard pack as well and I also I went to print out some journaling from I use Photoshop uh, but I think you know a word document uh, application would be fine as well and the text the font that I decided to use was Korea new that was uh, that was the name just mainly because it, it makes it look a little bit more like you know typewriting font and I, I quite like that I do have a typewriter but sometimes I'm one of those people who very kind of indecisive about typing so it's a lot easier for me to type from the computer and just print it out because otherwise I just have to do it multiple times when I do use a typewriter because I kept you know making mistakes etc so and now I what I'm doing I am going to embellish <laughs> I decided to go with this um, another die cut piece which is from the Oh Happy Day and this one is from the August scrapbook kit from Hit Kit Club as well but the actual embellishment pack itself is actually from Amy Tangerine and that this is her new line so the embellishment slash die cut pack there and to adhere that I decided to use some fun dots and now I'm just going to peel out peel off the the backing of those adhesive of the fun dots there so I'm, I decided to move the the chipboard piece there around just a little bit so it fits Quite well, just moved a little bit. The Bella Boulevard um, chipboards are very forgiving, so just in case you you know change your mind, it's actually pretty good. And also, I'm just using these clips, the bow clips from the cray paper and from the cute girl line, which is from the August scrapbook kit from the Hip Kit Club as well. I decided to pick out this strip of kind of it's it's like a plastic it's not a washi tape really it's almost like a printed plastic piece which is from Ali Edwards I believe it's from the tough story kit so it's relatively old it's either a tough or wild story kit and I'm also using a stamp which is from the stuff story stamp from Ali Edwards stuff story stamp and it's essentially, what does it say? It says, um, this is the stuff that matters. And I use the Memento Lux ink and the colour itself is called grey flannel. So I tested a couple, um, couple times just on a, a blank piece of paper just before I stamp it. And I also prepped the stamp as well because this is the first time I've used the stamp and so I decided to just make trying to make sure that it kind of it gets enough ink on it just by prepping it and when I say prepping it I essentially just rub a an eraser over it and then just clean off the the excess using my just a baby wipe and now I am just picking out a bunch of embellishments just these thicker pieces from the August scrapbook kit from the Hip Kit Club and the actual thickers themselves are actually from DLC and um, so American Crafts DLC and now I'm just thinking I want to add some more I don't know what but I want to add something a little bit more and so I'm just looking through a bunch of chipboard pieces from the from Alley with Story kit and I decided to go with the one from the Magic Story kit which says true, true story 
because I like the kind of the light pink of it so and also added a, a dot there a black dot there just on top because I think it needed a little bit more kind of movement just up there also I am adding these wooden pieces which are from the August scrapbook kit from the hip kit club as well but it's the brand itself is actually I think it's from the cute girl line from crate paper so I'm just sticking that down and that, well actually I'm just moving that crown a little bit just to be directly on top of the heart there. So here's the sketch. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll put the sketch on my blog as per usual, so at eatscrapbag.wordpress.com just in case you want to download and save it for later. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Here's some close up. I, if you enjoyed this video, I hope you give it a thumbs up so I know that you enjoyed it. And if you want YouTube to let you know when my next video comes out, please subscribe. And thank you so much for joining me and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.